Hi YouTube, um, I just wanted to do a video where I talk a bit about um, when I bred my salmon pink tarantulas. Um, so this species is yeah the Brazilian salmon pink, um, Lasiodora parahibana. Um, this is the third largest um, tarantula species in the world uh, and my female was particularly um, massive. So I used to keep loads of tranches. I had about, well, I had about 60 at one point, but mainly they were sort of young ones that I was trying to rear up um, or adults that I never managed to find um, males for. So this time I was sort of a bit more determined. So I managed to find this male um, for my female and I got him to do all the right things. So he did his, uh, he made his sperm web and uh, I saw him actually charging up his um, pedipalps with his um, on that are on the front of his legs. They're like little hooks on the front of his legs, uh, and they have a, a little sort of bulb type thing that uh, can suck up the um, sperm. And he he lays basically like a little web in a corner, um, deposits the sperm as like a fluid into that, and then sucks them up with these little uh, bulbs on his front legs. Um, so I knew he was ready. Uh, to mate and she was so massive uh, and I just thought I've got to kind of give it a go so here he is he, typically he crawled over the lid of his cage when she was right in the middle she was in a much better position uh, but she ran straight over to the corner um, which obviously made me quite nervous but here he is and you can see how he was sort of um, touching her with his legs there and she she didn't go for him, she didn't seem to mind too much. Okay, this, this is the next um, clip, and you can see he's crawled in, he's got her in a much better position, uh, and he's started to lift her up. So I was feeling a bit more optimistic at this point. Uh, you've got to bear in mind that these videos, you know, these are the short kind of highlight bits. Um, I actually sat there and I waited probably about three hours. <laughs> Actually, there was one point where I had to go and pick my kids up from school because I'd waited so long. So I, I kind of risked it, ran out, picked up the kids, came back, and luckily, they were still, um, they were still far apart from each other at that point. They hadn't come and met each other yet, so I got away with it. I was worried I was going to come back to a, an eaten male though. Okay, so yeah, he's he's in a good position here, lifting her up. You can see how much bigger she is there than him. She's a big, yeah, big fat spider. Uh, and she would happily take like 20 large, sort of jumbo sized uh, black crickets. You know, she'd grab them all and, you know, bite them and put them all in a ball uh, and sort of then eat the whole lot in one go. Right, so I think uh, in a minute we're going to be able to see uh, underneath where he lifts her up and you'll, you'll be able to see like her fangs uh, and his um, pedipalps. Um, yeah, the, the outcome of this by the way was she laid an egg case and I only managed to hatch out, because most of the egg case went mouldy. I only managed to get about 12 spidlings out of it, which is really sad. But this was my first ever kind of attempt at this. Uh, I don't know if I kept her cage a bit too hot and dry. I'm not sure. But I, I'm determined to try again with her. I'm going to try and buy another um, male. Give it another go. Because obviously this male, they only last for a short amount of time and he mated with her and died probably uh, about a month later, something like that. Um, but the little spiderlings that I did get, although there's only like you know a dozen of them, they're doing quite well and they're growing really quickly. And actually I don't know what I would do with about a thousand tarantulas anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, this is very nerve-wracking when you're watching this in real life. You can see I was filming this over the top of their cage, and you know she was really close to my <laughs> hand. It was quite unnerving having her that close to my face. 
Okay, I think this might be where we get to see through the glass um, her fangs. Her fangs are absolutely massive. You would not want to get bitten by these guys. I mean, I know like it's it's only reported to be like a sort of a a bee sting or something, but I'm sure just because of the size of the fangs, it would hurt quite a bit. Okay, so those sort of front two things that look a bit like legs there, you can see her fangs up with a big shine on them, see how massive they are. You would not want to be that male spider underneath her like that. Um, and his pedipalps are what look like small front legs uh, at the front of him. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get a very good view of them. But they've got the... Um, like the little tiny hooks on the bottom of them. If you look carefully, you might just about be able to make out one of the hooks right, sort of right in the middle of the screen now. There's the leg, the uh, pedipalps, and the hooks just go under. And when he's ready, what he does is he hooks those uh, into her and deposits his sperm. I don't think I actually managed to get that particular moment because it happened like really quickly I think I was filming on the top at the time but anyway if you like this video um, hit subscribe uh, and then you can see any videos that I post up in the future thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video okay so these are just a few pictures that I took um, after the uh, mating so this is the female laying her um, web and laying her eggs into the web you can just see an egg on her abdomen if you look very closely um, and I think she lays a thousand or two thousand it's a lot of eggs okay here she is under her cork hide with her egg sac um, and yeah maybe I was just keeping it a little bit dry I don't know she has a water dish there though so she had access to water at all times and I did spray all the moss sort of around her quite regularly but maybe uh, not enough uh, here's a close-up of the egg case so it's like very like papery looking egg case and there actually the moss does look a bit dry so maybe if I ever do it again I'll just try and um, keep it a bit more humid in there um, the next picture you're going to see is a picture of the egg case when I pulled it from her I had to take it off her because she'd been on it for um, the right amount of time so here you can see it was all kind of dried up all the eggs were kind of stuck together there was a bit of mold on one side of it so not a great looking egg case really you want all of the eggs to look nice and white and and sort of um, shiny um, like there, there are a few in there that are good but at the time that i saw this i was devastated i just thought oh no i've lost them all um, so next photo you'll see this is um, like a cup of water with a fine mesh over it and this is how I kind of incubate the eggs. So you separate out the eggs like this um, and there'll be some that are shriveled up dead eggs and some that are live eggs. You can just see on some of these little legs on them where one of them has already uh, become what's called eggs with legs. Here they are, eggs with legs. So this is basically when their legs pop out of the eggs um, they look like this. Uh, there's actually a little mite on here and I had to remove any mites that had got in and started eating any baby spiderlings as well. Um, and the next photo shows how they are now, those sort of dozen that I got to survive. So they're quite a bit bigger and they will eat a cricket that is about the same size as them now. They're quite feisty. And here's just a final photo um, of my adult female just to give you some idea of how massive um, she is. She's a she's a beast. So I will try and breed her again in the future. Um, and like I say, uh, hit subscribe if you like this sort of thing. Because anything interesting that happens here, I will try and film and I'll try and get it on YouTube. Thanks, and I'll catch you in the next video.